So. What up? It's your boy, Alex Wolf, Dragon Gamer, and I'm here for CNN YouTube News. For this section of Chapter 16, we're learning about people on the Go. move. Hey, it's really cold out here. Stuff is heavy. Hey, what up? It's your boy, Alex, also known as Barney, out, out here on the scene with his grass. And um, for this section, basically, it's about immigrants. So, immigration uh, in the 1800s, many people uh, from parts of different countries moved from like their farmland to cities, or from one country to another. Like, people moving from China or no, not China, but North Korea to China because they don't want to be all without the nukes, bro. Like, don't nuke me, man. <laughs> um, and so, because of all the immigration and some of it, most of it going to the United States, the United States received a huge portion of, well, they, they did receive a huge portion of global migration from a lot of other places. And in 1860, the residential population of the United States was 31.5 million and between 1865 and 1920, close to 30 million people lived in the United States. Uh, so, moving on to Mexico. Mexico, uh, well, immigrants from Mexico, basically. Uh, immigrants coming from Mexico, the United States passed the, uh, I had to look at it really quick. I forgot what it was. New Lands National Reclaimant Act, which basically meant they wanted to irrigate any of the southern states that had like uh, really dry seasons, but also really wet seasons, like where it rained really hard or where there was like a hurricane or something. And basically, immigrants from Mexico came over because they wanted jobs and they were poor. And so they came over and they did irrigation and they got paid for it. Um, moving on to the next thing, uh, two immigrant portraits. Basically, because of all the immigration and uh, people moving into the country from all different places, they brought their culture with them. And they did the things that they usually did back home. And basically, the United States got all kinds of new like artifacts, food, uh, you know, like paintings, uh, job workers, obviously, in that one. But, uh, so that is chapter 16, section 2. I hope you all enjoy. I'm Absol Dragon Gamer, and that was Artist. Why is it working? Oh, um, Okay, so the last little bit of this section has to do with immigrants from Asia and immigrants from Mexico. Immigrants from Asia, well, obviously they came over from Asia, and basically what happened is they got like excluded from other things that they that uh, other people would be allowed to do, as like. They, they could obviously get jobs, but people wouldn't talk to them as much and all this other stuff. And basically, Congress responded to the demand of union workers uh, by passing the Chinese Exclusion Act, the uh, Exclusion Act, which basically meant like they weren't allowed to have a job and they couldn't get paid. That sucks, because you want money. Um, after that, the Japanese were basically restricted because of segregation and other stuff, and it became this huge deal in Japan, and they got angry and everything. And because of that, uh, President Roosevelt didn't want to keep the international stuff, like, separated and all angry at each other. And so he made the Gentleman's Agreement Act, which basically... Uh, stated that uh, all big cities would like have to end their s school segregation and uh, make sure they let children 
go to school, let people have their jobs, whatever they want to do. Um, moving on to Mexico. Uh... Now that's random. Immigrants from Asia came over in search of work uh, and also education for their children. They came over in search of jobs uh, which did not please the American people because with each new person coming in they were taking more of the jobs that Americans wanted and due to that the uh, people of America wanted Congress to help them out so Congress decided to follow their or help them with their demands and pass the uh, Chinese Exclusion Act which basically stated that Chinese and Japanese anybody from Asia uh, couldn't come and immigrate and uh, get a job basically and later well that made everybody angry then and then adding on top of that the uh, Japanese uh, and Chinese children basically children from Asia uh, they came over and they wanted or the they wanted the better education for the children but yet there was still segregation in the schools and that made the Japanese people angry and also the Chinese and so the because of that the Congress didn't want Japan and China to get angry at the United States and to have like another war or anything like that um, so they passed the Gentlemen's Agreement Act, which basically took away segregation. Well, President Theodore Roosevelt passed the Gentlemen's Agreement Act, which basically said that Chinese and Japanese children wouldn't be segregated from everybody else. And then the two immigrant portraits basically uh, means like that with all the new people coming over and all the new cultures, there were new things in, uh, that came along and like paintings, uh, toys, silverware, whatever else, like you know, and building styles possibly. But um, the, the overall of it is basically it kinda, the immigration basically helped grow the American economy and also job production and helped the United States in general. That was CNN YouTube News. See you next week. That was